you guys can even touch a lot of animals. Awesome. Everybody say hi to Sean. Are we working? All right, let's give us a few minutes. Or let's just kick him off the stage. I'll do it all by myself. You guys don't like that idea? No. Someone's clapping for me. Thank you. Hello? Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Okay. We're unsuccessful with TV and watching. How are y'all doing? Yeah, so <clears throat> this is my first time on The Rock, right? Never been here before. Um, I was unpleasantly surprised to wake up this morning and walk out <laughs> into this weird crystalline stuff floating down, right? It was 90 degrees, 31, 32 degrees when I left Florida. Um, so I was already in summer mode with just short snow shirt, no shoes, and now I'm here. Why the difference, right? So we get like 90 degrees spread uh, in Fahrenheit. But uh, before, it's okay. Before he came, I said, it's zero degrees Celsius here, make sure you bring a warm coat. He said, I live in Florida, I don't have a warm coat. I do not have a warm coat. Right? So this is my like winter gear for Florida right here. I'm like, yeah, I got pants on, right? But um, it's all good. Beautiful place. And uh, flying in, I was just struck like just magnificent how much, how many lakes and that you have, right? So really, really uh, excited to be here. And <coughs> however, when I left Florida, it was also 100% humidity. You guys have like zero humidity in this air. So I like have this perpetual cough because my throat's dry. So you'll see me like walk over and get something to drink. It's not whiskey. Um, it actually is water. Um, just so just so I can uh, I can swallow here. So we'll try to get through this. But we're gonna have a great show for you today. And we're going to talk about something that I live in and work in almost every day. And that's the swamps, right? And not just the swamp, but some of the critters that live in it and some that live in it that don't belong, that are invasive. So how many of you have seen the Python Hunter show? Yeah, some of you? Right. So you know that Burmese pythons from Southeast Asia, they don't belong. So we'll talk about some of those. So our first guest up, one of my favorites, one of my favorite all-time animals. I see them every day. And we need, if you can make a hole real quick, and you can fill it back in just real quick, spread apart, spread apart, spread apart. Yeah? Everybody, far, 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 she needs a lot of space. A lot of space. She has a big tail that sometimes waves back and forth, give lots and lots of space. She may pee on you, you could be in a splash though. <laughs> Here we go. You made it. Everybody say hi to Lady Trunks a lot. Right. What kind of animal is Lady Trunks a lot? I can't hear you guys. What is she? An alligator. Excellent. She is an American alligator. And Sean knows all about American alligators because he lives in the same place that Alligators live. I do. I live Where in is Florida. That? Florida. Oh. He told. I live in Florida. We have so many alligators. Estimated that in the state alone, 1.5 million alligators live in the waterways throughout Florida. So I see them all the time. <clears throat> and I actually have a facility. A facility where I have alligators and crocodiles. Um, that I take care of every day, and um, many of them are, are part of conservation breeding. But this is an American alligator, she's a female, and how many of you think she's just absolutely gorgeous? I do. She's an amazing animal. When you look at the color and you look at just the way she's built in her morphology, it is truly amazing. These animals have been around virtually unchanged for 240 million years. That is a long time. That is actually older than Leanne. That is true. Slightly. Just a bit. Right? <laughs> she wears it well. She wears it well. She looks older. Here's on. 
Whoa, no, oh, you're gonna go there? You're gonna go there? So, one of the things about these American alligators is they are aquatic, right? They spend so much time in the water that they have evolved to be the perfect predators in that freshwater system. And when you look at them, what do you think this tail is for? See how it's real narrow and it's a keel? What did they use the tail for? Swimming, right? So she would go back and forth like this, and it's just like a rudder, and it propels her along, and they can swim so fast, it's incredible. And it's how they, they defend their territory, and they can chase down prey, and they can just, in, within their territory, they can map out their boundaries and cover all their boundaries. So it's amazing, they've got this long tail, they used to swim with, and as you go up and you look, <clears throat> they've got these bony plates on their back. Does anybody know what they're called? Scales? Hell, no, some people call them that. Anybody else? How many people else? think they're scales? Put up your hand if you think those bumps on her back are scales. Do they look like scales to you guys? Were you guys touching a lot of scales today? Were you touching snakes and lizards? Are these scales, Sean? These are called osteoderms, which in Latin means bony skin. So these are actually plates of bone that are embedded in their back and it's armor. Because these can be very aggressive with one another, especially when they're, the females are selecting nesting sites and protecting them, or the males are fighting over females, right? Just like humans, uh, right? You know, when you, when you get older, you'll learn all about that. Right now, girls have cooties and that's just like that. Um, but, so these, this is armor, and something else is, is magnificent about these blue plates. They have hundreds of little capillaries, little blood vessels in them. So when these animals sun themselves to get warm, they can divert tons of blood to these osteoderms, thereby heating themselves up very quickly in the sun. And then when they want to get cooler, they can close those blood vessels down so they're not absorbing so much sun. So it's amazing. So not as like a solar panel, as well as armor. So truly, truly amazing animals, right? And they get big. This is a female, and Leanne Humboldt is, is Lake Tom's a lot. I believe she's around eight years old. It's hard to tell, right? Once they get to a certain age, she's an adult-sized female. She could have babies. She's mature. So once they get to a certain age, a certain size, then it's a guess if you don't know really how old she is. She could be anywhere from eight years old to 18 years old, and she would be approximately this size. They continue to grow a little bit as they get older. Some females get bigger, but males can get giant. Males can get 14 feet, which is the length of the stage plus some, and they get huge armor plates on their back, huge teeth, their jaw power be two to three thousand pounds per square inch. So when that clamps down, those jaws aren't opening up again until they want them to open up. It's amazing, amazing beast. What is your favorite part about alligators? I love all crossed resilience. My favorite part about this alligator though, in particular, is that she's a little different than a lot of other alligators. What you guys notice is missing from Lady Chantelot. What's missing? One of her legs. Did you guys all notice that? Does anybody know how that happened? Leanne was overly hungry the other day. She did it all. I ate her leg. <laughs> you guys believe that? What actually happened to her leg is she got into a fight with another alligator. She was living with another female and a male. And she got into a fight with the other female for that male alligator. They were fighting over a boy. I'm, I'm sure some of the girls here are familiar with that. That's right. Boys, take note. We are that valuable that women and girls fight for us. Remember that. So she got her leg bitten by the other female, 
And I believe it might have gotten infected and it had to be amputated. So she did lose her leg. And she can live a perfectly happy life without her leg. It's actually kind of common for them to get into fights and lose limbs, even in the wild. And Sean has a crocodilian named Tripod that is also missing a leg. What kind of crocodilian is Tripod? Tripod is a big American alligator, same species. He's huge, he's about 12 feet, and he is actually missing the same exact leg. So maybe we should get them together, right? And uh, they should be like normal, two three-legged alligators. But, um, and he also lost his in a fight with another big bull male, right? So in this case, they were fighting over a female. So, I mean, that happens too, whatever, you know, whatever you know. But, but it happens, and, and that's something, that's why they're so armor-plated. This skull is so dense and thick. The bone is incredibly heavy, and it's because they can fight over territories and mates, and they can do some serious damage to each other. All right, well, we sent Lady Chumpsalot back to her little area back here, and she will be back there for the rest of the day if you guys want to go back and pet her a little later. So what we'll have to get you guys to do is separate again a little bit on the floor just until we get her back to her spot. And I am going to introduce you guys to a